news, I hope. Tell the mother. The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked Wardens. They killed the first, killed him. Cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? <laughs> Sauce the other day, and I was thinking, Ogren, don't you wish you had a pony? Uh, I didn't. I didn't say that out loud, did I? You know, Bronca loved toy horses way back when. <laughs> Old girl was always a little odd. Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> uh, just as well. The real ones poop. This is... <laughs> you make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. Christoph. Oh, thank the Maker. I fear you are mistaken, mortal. Christoph? Why are you... What has happened? I am his wife. Your husband is gone, and I inhabit this body now. His death will be avenged, I assure you. Avenged? You've desecrated his body, how dare you? It was not intentional. There was... Get away from me! His body has memories of this woman. Aura is her name. I did not know she would come. I must rectify this somehow. Intentionally or not, I have done this woman a great disservice. My memories suggest her home is in Amaranthine. It will prey on me if we do not seek her out. There must be something that could be done to assuage her pain. Something. The Darkspawn call our attention, but should we get the chance to seek her out, I would be grateful. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Viridium. Amaranthine abounds with mineral wealth. Master Wade has more than he needs to equip all of your men suitably. Thank you so much for finding all this dreary metal. Haran, you must be happy. Ecstatic. Now, now, no more time to waste. Seems happy enough. Isn't that right, the Pounce a lot? To enslave another creature does not seem just. He's not a slave. He's a friend. And he's also a cat. 
A cat that lacks freedom. Oh, just ignore him, Sir Pouncelot. They don't have pets in the Fade, apparently. Like to us. Aura, please do not be alarmed. I do not wish to frighten you. You? You are the. in my husband's body. I am a spirit of justice. I meant your husband no harm. I would ease your distress had I the power. I knew when he left that this could happen. He told me. His father died a Grey Warden, too. Tell me. Is there anything I can do for you? Tell me, and I will do it. Avenge him, spirit. I will wait for his ashes a little longer, if it means that whoever did this to him will pay. The Darkspawn. Yes, I understand. And she is gone. Did I do the right thing? That is wise. She loved this man a great deal, and he loved her. I envy what they had. I must think on this more. But another time, thank you for bringing me here. We must follow the example of Andraste and reflect upon the chance of life. Your friends and neighbors would do well with you. point out that you're all right and remarkably lovely if I'm allowed to say really when the Templars came for me you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble but I apparently am worth the trouble considering I'm usually a lot of trouble I should be grateful and I'm glad to be around when you recruited me I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire but being a warden is almost tolerable it's a pleasant stroll through the park, with Darkspawn. You're a giver. I'm very grateful. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander, for everything. This is nice. Funny. Considering all the things that have been taken, it figures this would still be here. Good guess. That's her. My father hated my mother. He only dragged this painting out when my grandmother visited, which was not often. I'd be paraded before her like a soldier on inspection, and she would pick over every floor while father awaited his turn. That does qualify as a fond memory. I know, I know, it's strange. I was in the free marches for almost eight years. I don't have many memories of my family at all. Anyway, someone should take this down. I think it's staring at me. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. 
We pity mortals. We do not envy them. You misunderstand. We are wrong about this world. There is beauty here. And the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. A friend? That is an interesting concept. I do not know how to respond to that. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? Not to a body that is already dead, surely. I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear, but it summons an ache I didn't know I had. Thank you. That is most kind. I need to thank you for letting me join the Grey Wardens, for showing me the surface. But I hope you don't think I've abandoned the Legion. In Dust Town, my word meant nothing to anyone. Then I joined the Legion and took a vow to protect Orzammar. That's worth something. For once, I'm worth something. And I must honor that, even if it means I'll die. That's what worries me, Commander. In the Legion, death looms over us constantly. Like... like a dirty uncle. Here, death seems distant when the surface is safe. I'm going back to the Deep Roads. For a Warden's last walk. For the calling. You can't make that choice for me, Commander. Each Warden decides when she is ready, doesn't she? I finally understand what Varlin meant. I never accepted my sentence. Raging against it only caused me pain. Now that I've been granted a reprieve, now that I have a choice, I know what I must do. I... I'm touched, but I've made up my mind. But the Darkspawn still threaten the surface, and that is my first concern. Are you at all curious about my exile? You make me out to be some kind of shrill harpy. You... Fine. I suppose your mockery is justified. The humans near where you met me were trying to drive my clan away. For a while, we resisted. Then they tried to burn us out. They would have destroyed the entire forest just to keep us from their farms. The others were afraid. Keeper Ilshe said that if I wanted to fight the Shemlin, I would fight them alone. Sarani only followed me in the hopes of changing my mind. A few others wanted what I wanted, and left with us. They are dead now. Do you really believe that? Sometimes I think you have more hope than I. Come, there is no point in dwelling on the past when there is work to be done. 